So there are so many map tier lists out there now. But I just want to put my opinions out there. Now, two things to say quickly. I'm sorry about the Cold War gameplay. I don't really have any uh, Black Ops 1 gameplay at all. Same with Black Ops 2 or 3. Uh, my apologies. So I'm going to be using Cold War like the retard I am. Also, I just want to say, uh, this is all from my experience. So this is going to be my opinion. Everyone will have a different opinion. And you can express that in the comments whether you're pissed or not. So anyways, let's get into the first map. So the first map is Kino. Uh, this is definitely the most iconic map. Map, uh, probably the most uh, overrated map, I'll say. It's still a solid map, though. Is the thing. I like Kino as it is. There's not many bad qualities about it. I would say it's really easy, though. It's too easy. That's about my only problem with it. Like you, know, I guess it's good having an easy map, but it's so easy you get bored of it quickly. Is my problem. But, um, you know, it's still a pretty good map. I'm going to put it in the great category because of its little amount of flaws. Next up is 5. 5 is also, I would say, an underrated map. I actually hated this map at first, but I grew to like it a lot more. It's not a bad map by any means, but it's also not the best map in the game. I would say it's anti-player, so it's very hard when you start getting into zombies. So that's probably why lots of people hate it, but when you actually get used to the map, uh, you'll see it's better qualities. It's basically meant to be a solo playthrough, I'll say, but if you can play solo and you know the map well, it's a really fun map. There are a few bad qualities, if you will, or rather challenging parts of the map, such as Eerie, that god-awful idiot that takes your gun. He, uh, he's annoying. You have the Nova 6 crawlers in the labs, you have just limited uh, training room. You know, there's a few bad parts, but there's a lot of good parts. For instance, the atmosphere, the characters, just a lot. I'm actually going to put 5 in the good category, because it's a pretty good map all around. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Next up is Nocturne on Toten. This is definitely the first Zombies map in history, just remastered. Now, it's a very slight improvement if you will. I don't really want to be too harsh on it. Um, it's the first map, but it's one thing I like about Noct is you can just go in it and have fun. You don't need to try hard. You don't need to get everything. It's just hit the box and do your thing. So it is fun. It is quite challenging, really. Uh, there's not much to say because of how bare minimum, like j it's just such a bare minimum map, but you can have fun is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to put Noct in the decent category. Next up is Rook. Now, this map I like, but there's a couple problems. So, it's still very basic. It's a very small map. There's not much training area. It's worse than Noct, in my opinion. However, there's perks on this map. This is where they were introduced, as well as traps. Now, the atmosphere is better. There's a few things that are better in this map, but not a huge amount that is worse. All around, it's not really an upgrade, and I'd still say Noct, or not Noct, uh, Verrucht is in the decent category. So now we have Shinonuma. I want to stay on the track of the World at War maps before we get to the actual Black Ops 1 maps. But um, Shinonuma was, in a sense, it was, yeah, it was an upgrade. We got a lot more training space, it was bigger, a little bit more complex. When you went to the fishing huts, or whatever, just the huts in general, there was a randomized perk spawn which i did enjoy the surprise factor made it a lot more interesting the map was challenging mud was a pain in the ass but you know it's a swamp what are you expecting uh the atmosphere was not bad as well uh you know what i didn't mind it the one of off was a nice weapon for this map as well not much to complain other than it can be quite slow now i'm gonna say shinonuma is a quality map so next up, we now have Darius. Now, Darius is a revolution, as some would say, as it introduced Pack-a-Punch. It's also a pretty easy map. It's a fun map. You know, it just introduced a lot of new things for the better. Uh, the atmosphere is nice. You know what? There's not much to complain about this map, really. Uh, it might be a little easy, but, you know, I don't mind it. It's at least fun. It's a fun easy. <laughs> you don't want... I don't know what else to say. I don't really know anything that's bad about this map. I'm gonna put it put uh, put it in the perfect category. I really just don't see anything too bad about this map, really. 
Next up is Shangri-La. Now this is a very anti-player map. Like it's not friendly to you to you at all. Uh, the traps are a pain in the ass. The map looks gorgeous for one. I'll say that. Uh, the wonder weapon is amazing. There's a few great parts about this map, but there's a lot of bad. It's certainly not a horrible map. It can be fun once you master it, and you know you get some credit if you do really well at this map. It is a hard map, but I don't have too many good things to say, but not too many bad things. I'm gonna put this map in quality. Now we have Call of the Dead. Now this is an interesting map. There are bad parts, such as trying to get Pack a Punch. Uh, you have to look at two different locations. Ants in frozen water. And we have George Romero, which is an asshole, but rewards you nicely if you've done the Easter egg. You know, there's good and great part or uh, bad parts of this map. Certainly not a bad map, but certainly not a perfect map. Um, there are good qualities of it. It's a pretty big map. Uh, the Wonder Weapon, the the uh, the VR11 and the Scavenger, they're both interesting. The VR11 is kind of a co-op weapon, while the scavengers are going to carry you to about round 40, if I'm correct. You know, there's good and bad. I'm just going to say that this map is... I'm going to put it in the good category. Next up is Ascension. Now, Ascension is one of my personal favorites. It's a very easy map. There's lots of training space. The only real problem about this map is the monkeys. But they can reward you nicely if they don't touch one of your perks. If you're solo, you just run Jug and Quick Revive and you're pretty much golden. You know, there's not much to say, there's not many flaws about this map. But because of how easy it is, I don't really think it's a perfect map. I think a perfect map should have some flaws in it or challenges in it. This map's just a little too easy. So I'm going to put Ascension in the great category as a result. And lastly, we have Moon. Moon is... It's, it holds a special place in my heart. It is pretty much an introduction to what we are to expect in Black Ops 2, except, in my opinion, it's better than every Black Ops 2 map there is. Moon is a really good map. There's really good parts of it, such as the Wonder Weapons. The training areas are phenomenal. There's a lot. You can even train outside if you want zero gravity. I don't know why you would, but if you really want. Uh... You know, there's just a lot of good parts about Moon. But there's a few bad parts. There's challenges, such as the excavators. You have the Cosmonaut, which is a pain in the ass if he hits you. He takes your perk away. You have Jug and Speed Cold that spawn on Earth, which you have to teleport to by a time stain. Oh, and by the way, uh, the perks are in systematic rotation. So that's cool. That That's amazing. But, you know, other than those, small things... Those are the challenges of the map. They help make it fun. They keep you on your toes. You know, they really make this map a whole lot more exciting to play. Moon is a perfect map in my eyes. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I hope you agree with my uh, tier list. Uh, it's just from my experience. I'm sorry about the Cold War gameplay once again. But anyways, have yourselves a nice day.